Good morning and happy Sabbath and welcome to song service. This month we're going to be learning a new hymn. Uh, we'll be singing it every week this month. And so I hope that it's one that you don't already know very well, but I hope it's one that you will love by the end of this month. In the hymnal, it's number 62, How Lovely is Thy Dwelling Place. The, the tune is an old African-American spiritual uh, in an arrangement by the African-American composer Harry T. Burley. And the text is an, a, a version of Psalm 84 from the Scottish Psalter from 1650. And so Psalm 84 is, How lovely is thy dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, yea, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. At thy altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Then in verse 10, For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Let's sing it for the first time this month, number 62, How Lovely is Thy Dwelling Place. number 528, A Shelter in the Time of Storm. This whole set this morning is about finding shelter with God. So a shelter in the time of storm, and it's got such great uh, allusions in it to Bible stories. So I hope you'll pay attention to those while we sing. Hey, 
Spring floods may round us beat, a shelter in the time of storm. We find in God a safe retreat, a shelter in the time of storm. Mighty rock in a weary land, cooling shade on the burning sand, faithful guide for the pilgrim band, a shelter in the time of storm. O rock divine, O refuge dear, a shelter in the time of storm. Be thou our help forever near, a shelter in the time of storm. Mighty rock in a weary land, cooling shade on the burning sand, faithful guide for the pilgrim band, a shelter This one talked a lot, it was in the second verse, of shade by day, defense by night, how God sent the pillar of either cloud or fire, depending on the time of day, how he sent that to protect the Israelites. And it's just such an amazing picture. We continue with the wilderness wanderings with number 520. This is, he hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock, number 520. Shadows are dry, thirsty. Land. 
soul. It's of course talking about when Moses wanted to see God's glory, wanted to see him face to face. And God said, I can't let you do that. That would kill you because sin cannot exist in God's presence. But God said, go into this cleft in the rock. I'm going to put my hand over the cleft to protect you. I'm going to walk past. And after God did that and his glory passed by, when Moses came back down off the mountain, the Bible says that his face was glowing. And so what an amazing experience that must have been. Fanny Crosby grabbed that and went with it. I sing in my rapture, oh glory to God, for such a redeemer have I. Under his wings is another one that talks about God's protection and his love and his care for us. Number 529. <laughs> May 
God add a rich blessing to the singing of these words. Happy Sabbath.